Good morning. Today we're here at Walmart. We're going to go in, check out some of the prices, check the shelves, and some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. Okay, so as soon as we come into Walmart here, we see they have their Fife's Pineapples. $2.18. That's about the cheapest we've seen them. Pineapple's kind of been going up lately. So I just noticed they finally got their subs back in here. Um, some of them are $6, some of them are $6.50. We've gotten a few comments on these over the last month or so that they're really good. Um, they haven't had them here in a while, so I really don't know what the prices were. But if you see one you like down here, hopefully they're starting to get them back in your Walmart. I want to show they have honeydew melons. I don't, you know, these have just been getting really expensive lately. We've seen them for $3.99. $4.29, $4.28 here at Walmart. Um, everything's going up. Wanted to show they have the halos here for $6.62 for a five pound bag. Now we saw the cuties at Kroger are gonna be going up to $8.99 when they're not on sale. So this is the regular price for these for the five pounds. So as to where this is really expensive and it was $5.99 just a little over a month ago does look like they got the organic gala apples back in here at Walmart three pound bag for four dollars and ninety six cents uh, that is up from three ninety nine a while ago but more importantly they actually have them in gotten a couple comments on these uh, because it's been really hard for Walmart to get in some of this stuff uh, they do have some pears I you know I haven't seen pears here in a while so it's good they got these in uh, the bagged pears three pound four dollars and thirty cents so because of a lot of the shortages here at Walmart. I just heard a lady behind me say, well, we're going to Kroger. <laughs> Didn't want to point out that they do have the five pound bags of the Red Delicious Apples, $5.97. Got a lot of comments on the Red Delicious Apples lately. Uh, a lot of places across the country have been having trouble getting them in. They do have the three pound cuties, $4.66. Pretty much everywhere we've seen these for $4.49. Um, I do believe they went up for $4.99 at a couple places. So $4.66, I would say, is a pretty average price right now. Looks like some of the fruits here have been ransacked. Um, they do have their red grapes here for $1.48 a pound. The green ones, uh, $2.22 a pound. Now those have gone up. They were $2.08, $2.08 a pound the last time we were here, up to $2.22. Um, and they're, uh, Pretty low. Usually this is completely stacked with berries and stuff. They do have the six ounce pack. Wow. $5.98. There's no way. Uh, that's organic red grapes. Yeah, that's the wrong thing. That is this. $2.37. It's actually a little cheaper than we've seen it at some other places. Uh, most blackberries right now are going for $2.49. We've seen it as high as $2.99. I don't know what the deal with raspberries are lately. They have just shot up 344 here, but we've seen them as high as 359 at some other places, but that's a little much for some raspberries. And as like most places, honey crisp apples have just gotten really expensive. 257 a pound. Um, you do they do have a big thing of them here where you can pick them out. We saw that it was $1.89 for one apple at Target. Now that is Target. Um, but a lot of places don't have the single apples right now. They're just selling them in the bags with the Honeycrisp at least. So, I don't know. I mean, at least you can pick and choose which ones you want. So I think these stores just all got together and said, you know what, we're just going to all charge right around $3 for a five pound thing of uh, potatoes here. Because it seems like they're pretty much all $2.99 wherever we go. $2.94 here at Walmart, so save five cents. They don't have a price on these watermelons. I gotta say they look pretty good, but the last time they, uh, the price of them was $9.28. So I'm good. A lot of places have been charging $10 for a watermelon lately. I do have the Del Monte bananas for 29 cents a pound. I gotta say the last time we were here, now we've really liked these bananas and we might've just gotten a bad batch, but the Del Monte wasn't as good as it's been. So. Uh, take that as you will. I would probably still buy them 29 cents. We probably like I said We probably just got a bad batch of them or something. These actually look pretty good Didn't want to show they have their butternut bread here 226 uh, That's pretty cheap. We've seen it. it's 269 at Kroger. It is the 20 ounce um, Yeah, way cheaper here Been getting a lot of comments on breakfast stuff starting to 
uh, kind of go away in the stores again. So just like breakfast biscuits, I think, was some of them. Jimmy Dean was another one, which we see some Jimmy Dean down here. I was just looking at some of the ones I like. They do have the Tennessee Pride sausage biscuits here. $8.50, though. That is up from $7.98. $7 We've been getting a lot of comments on the Farm Rich signs. Uh, started a conversation a couple weeks ago about some of the TGI Friday sites, which they seem to have plenty here, which is good to see because we saw these were like pretty empty uh, a couple few weeks ago. But then we started talking about the Farm Rich and that it's been going away. Sure enough, uh, it's pretty much the same here. It looks like there's a lot less than there was here the last time. It does look like the meatballs have stayed the same. The only difference is now is they actually have them in. We saw the last time there was like none. They did have some of the Italian style meatballs and they did not go up in price. They are still $5.86, and the family size is still $7.86. Got a lot of comments on frozen meatballs lately, so wanted to point this out that our Walmart is getting them back in. Hopefully yours is too. This is something that Walmart has really struggled to get in all the time. Some stores are better than others. We do see more at Kroger. One thing I will say is the price did go up on them. The 10 count here was $8.98. Now they're up to $9.48, so that's a... And that was that's just a couple weeks ago. I do believe people are starting to catch on with the hot pockets because the double packs where people like to mix and match them, they have gone up significantly. Uh, and these did go up from 10.98 to 11.98, but that is still a dollar a hot pocket. Um, as you can see here, got a five pack for six dollars. I mean, this is definitely still the better deal. And you know, we've been getting comments that these have been going away across the country. So just wanted to point it out. We are noticing some significant price increases here at Walmart today. Um, they, this is actually probably the most Tyson chicken that we have seen anywhere. I mean, anywhere. Always get comments on the chicken nuggets. This is just the two pounds. Remember we saw this was $6.42. It was $5.99 and then a lot of stuff was going up uh, to $6.42. That was the magic number we were talking about. Now it's $7.00 seven dollars that's crazy i did notice with these buffalo style great value chicken bites chicken wings people were talking about these and how they were still a good value i mean it still is a little bit i just noticed that it went up to 887 this was 848 um not that long ago last time we checked it out 848 so that's gone up 40 cents a lot lower on the c-pack than the last time we were here uh, I did want to show that they still are $6.42 here. These were all $5.99. Just trying to show you what I'm talking about because these were all $5.99, then they went up to $6.42. I'm curious to see if most of these are still the same and then Tyson just had to raise their price and maybe that's why they raised it up to seven. I don't know. We'll, we're going to take a look around. Okay, guys, so you remember a couple weeks ago when we were here at Walmart, I said these potato products, uh, frozen fries, stuff like that they weren't getting them in we knew this was going to happen we talked about it they are like wiped out on a lot of frozen potato products now we've been seeing this all across the country we've been getting a lot of comments on this french fries shredded potatoes tater tots uh frozen potatoes uh it's been real hard to get in and i'll tell you what these cabinets are empty yeah, so it's starting to get hit on a lot of stuff. And I don't know if they're just not getting a lot of this in. I really don't know. I mean, they do have, uh, you know, some. But I can see where this stuff could literally get wiped out tonight. It looks like there's not much. They, a lot of the frozen berries and stuff are low. They, I mean, they have some. But all the cheaper ones are going. They do have the organic, uh, the great value ones, which we've gotten good comments on. Um... You know, I mean, they do have some, but we're seeing this was completely full the last time we were here. Now, it's been a couple weeks, so, you know, a lot of people bought it. Maybe they didn't get a uh, shipment in. You know, we've been having problems with uh, trucks and stuff like that. It is good to see that Walmart is still getting some of their vegetables in. With frozen vegetables, they do have the corn, 77 cents. Um, check that price, though, because look at this. The mixed vegetables is up to $1.42. $1.42? Would you pay $1.42 for this? I mean, we get the Kroger's anyway, but there's no price on the green beans, but man, great value shouldn't be that expensive. Crazy. Bird's eye's cheaper. $1.23. I 
I mean, not for the corn. Obviously, the corn there, I mean, I don't know. This might be something where they didn't remove the sticker. We have to watch for those, too. Anything in question, always take a picture, take it to the register. So Walmart does sell some of these Applegate Naturals, which some people have asked about in the comments. They've got the chicken nuggets here, ten eighty two. dollars um, That's cheaper than what it was at Target. I believe Target was eleven ninety nine, dollars so a little cheaper here. Um, and they have some of the, you know, different keto options and stuff. Uh, Walmart's been adding more and more of this stuff into uh, their lineup here because, we're, you know, we're seeing more and more. And that's good because, you know, it's good to have variety. Uh, Southern style chicken bowl looks pretty good. Yeah, the other day we were talking about mayo and how expensive it's gotten, the craft mayo. And we were talking about the Meyer mayo somebody mentioned great value but they haven't been able to find it they do have it here so keep an eye out for it it is a dollar 94 same size as the craft um yeah way cheaper about the cheapest we've seen the ben's ready rice we get a lot of comments on these two dollars and 12 cents we've seen they've gone up to 239 kroger's is 249 pretty expensive and they do have more rice in than the last time we were here uh this was like practically empty uh, it's good to see they got some stuff in. Got some big bags of jasmine rice here, 20 pounds, $23.36. They do have the uh, smaller bag here. This is the Thai fragrant long grain rice, $3.22, which that is the same too. That's just the 20 pound. They do have some of the minute white rice, which uh, we've heard a lot of people have been able to find it. So uh, it hasn't been an issue around here. One thing that's been an issue is these norposicides. They seem to just keep going up to the point where it's just not worth buying them anymore. $1.26 here. We saw they were uh, $1.35 at Meyer. Just really expensive. This one, it looks smaller. 4.3 ounces. What is this? 4.3 ounces. Okay. Oh, the bag's just folded. All right. So as to where it does seem like Heinz is we've been getting a lot of comments on ketchup again we saw a couple months ago that it was completely wiped out couldn't find Heinz ketchup anywhere we were seeing hunts come in big time and uh we're not big hunts fans but uh the heights they do have some but as we can see here i wonder if it was out for a while because all this is gone i mean lots of it tons of it people were buying up hunts usually that's the one that's just full everywhere Want to show their Gatorade here is the smaller 28 ounce Gatorades for $1.34. It's been that way for a while. I was just coming down this little side area here. They had some Gatorade. Not the cheapest. The cheapest we've seen it has been Aldi. Now it did go up a little bit at Aldi. I believe it's $1.29. Um, it may still be $1.25, but it's the 32 ounces. I know a lot of people like the bigger ones. Um, they're $1.50 at Kroger, so still cheaper than that this are still all the same here on the ramen noodles one of the cheapest places to get it more importantly they have it and hearing a lot of people say they haven't been able to find it these little chicken bowls too are only 42 cents here they've pretty much gone up to 50 cents a piece everywhere so a little cheaper regular spaghetti is getting harder and harder to find uh, we usually use thin spaghetti also cremets only a dollar 22 here um, they do have some of the great pasta, but look at this. I mean, it's, they do got the two pounds there for uh, $1.43, so that makes it 70 cents a pound. That's a pretty good deal, actually, because uh, the regular ones, if they had it of a pound, is 92 cents. So you save a little bit there. You're, you'll eat it eventually. Hey, they do have some of the fettuccine, too, looking down here on the bottom shelf. Some of the angel hair people fast about. All these are 92 cents. Still continue to be pretty low on Tyson chicken. Um, it's, it's low all over the country right now with everything going on. I understand that. Um, but this is probably the most we've actually seen in a while. It's a pretty $1.64 a pound for these drumsticks, which actually, I mean, that's Meyer was $1.49 a pound. So yeah, that's expensive. We did see to where it was 99 cents a pound still for the members market at Sam's Club, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, and that was the same for the chicken thighs. So, let's see how much these wings are. Wings are crazy. $3.56 a pound. Yeah, okay. Boy, they have really condensed their hamburger here. The hamburger extended all the way down here to where the um, uh, ribs and stuff are. And then they brought it down here to where this is. And now they've condensed it just into this little small section. 
I mean, it's getting too expensive. I mean, it's like they just want to have some out here, I guess, for people that want to buy it here, but it's just gotten kind of ridiculous. This price is just, I mean, this has gone up, this 10 pound thing of meat here has gone up $3 in the last month. So I don't really, you know, I don't know. If you think the hamburger was narrow, my goodness. Yeah, that slow cooker thing is now $17. That was $14 not that long ago, $13.98. It might be a bigger piece of meat. I'm not really sure. These steaks, you know, they don't look too bad, but what is that? $12.47 a pound for strip steak. $2.38 pounds for $30. Sheesh. Getting pricey, guys. Okay, so we've been seeing the four packs of the solid white albacore tuna going for like $7. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this price is wrong on the sticker, but they have to give it to you for that. So $3.93, that makes it a dollar a can. I mean, that's pretty cheap, even, even before the last couple few months. Uh, and here's some more of it here. Yeah, $3.93. Uh, they've got the tuna in water here, four cans for $2.38. I mean, that's not bad. Compared to what we've been seeing in other stores, that's a pretty good price. Some of the Del Monte canned fruits here, a uh, little cheaper than Kroger, $1.98. They're $2.19 at Kroger, so, just, boy, that's, can, can of fruit, $2. That just, I don't know. It's crazy to think about. Been getting a lot of good comments on the Great Value Vegetables uh, in the can, canned vegetables, they are still 54 cents here. We've been hearing that they've gone up to 58 cents uh, in some parts of the country where you guys have left comments. Hey, look, there's the Bruce's yams that we couldn't find a month ago. Um, yeah, Del Monte is $1.28 a can here, which is, you know, I hate to say it, fairly cheap because it's $1.50 at Kroger. Uh, we've seen it for, I believe it was $1.35 a can at Meyer. Uh, we do got to watch the sales on stuff like this. We, You guys know that we always buy ours at Sam's Club because you can still get it for less than a dollar. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's no, no surprise that a lot of the great value canned vegetables are starting to be less and less because people aren't paying the prices for these more expensive ones. Yeah, you guys are right. Um, we've been hearing a lot of cooking oils kind of been going away again. We even see some of the fancier cooking oils over here kind of missing. I mean, they do have some. They do have it. But the last time we were here, this was completely stocked. And maybe they just haven't gotten a load on it or anything. They do have a couple cans of the Crisco down there. Uh, $6.44. We've seen that in a lot of places for $6.99. So that's a little cheaper. A lot of the big jugs here are missing. I feel like people are buying up these bigger ones. One, because it's a little cheaper. So of all these places that have been raising their sugar prices, Walmart's has stayed at $2.12. I will say it's pretty low compared to what it normally is, but they do have the 10 pounders here for $5.27. That hasn't gone up either. That stayed the same. Um, and I'll tell you what, it's crazy to say this, but well, no, actually it doesn't. This usually extends out here for the Domino, but we have been seeing Domino sugar um, being low or none in a lot of the stores we've been visiting lately. So if you love Domino Sugar, when you see it, pick it up, buy one, two, you know, make sure you have it. Um, prices are still the same here on the 10 pound. Uh, and I believe that's the same for the four pound, $3.24. And they do have the big bags of Splenda that people have asked about. Uh, Splenda does seem like it's kind of getting pretty expensive. 400 packets for $14 is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know. They do have the Great Value Sweetener down there, $7.48 for that one. And that Splenda bag is $11.89. So, I don't know. Wanted to check out the flower here. They do have some other different types of brands here. Um, and, you know, they, they've got the Great Value. They've got the Pillsbury, which is funny because we haven't been seeing this one anywhere. Uh, and of course they have the smaller or the bigger uh, five pound for $1.56. I believe that's five pounds. Looks like five pounds. Yep, sure is. Wow, these are all like, a lot of them are open. Um, and they have the big 10 pound for $3. So why not spend the extra dollar, $1.44 and get the big one. 
They do sell King Arthur. I will say it's not the variety that we've been seeing at Kroger and Meyer, but they do have it. Um, now this is just the all-purpose flour. I know we got a couple comments about the bread flour, which they don't have here, but we did see that at Meyer and Kroger, I believe. So the spice war going around across the country here. I do got to say that it looks like they've gotten some back in. There's still a lot of stuff missing, but you know, we saw this was near empty a couple weeks ago, so they must have got a truck, got some more spices. Some of this stuff over here, some of the more fancier spices, I guess, are harder to get in. We can see where they're pretty low on a lot of this stuff. As long as they got Mrs. Dash right here, I'm good. So I wanted to show you guys something kind of interesting. And it's good to see they got a lot of juices in here. And part of the reason why it looks like they have more than what they actually have is because this extended all the way to those Capri Suns. This is a complete other aisle. They have just added random stuff in to fill the gaps of all the juice. And I mean, you know, we saw where this was wiped out a little over a month ago. So I am happy to see that they've got more. And you want it to look nice, I get that. I just wanted to give you guys like a point of reference here of, of how they're moving things around. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you've noticed that your Walmarts or any of your stores have been really condensing things to kind of make aisles look more full. I did want to point out that the Folgers coffee is $10.24 here. We have seen that Folgers has gone up everywhere. No sales. There may be a sale at Meyer still, but I don't know. Uh, again, had to check the sticker on that one because we've been to a lot of stores where Folgers has gone up over $10. Absolutely ridiculous. They do have the bigger one here. Uh, 48 ounces for $11.98. That is definitely a way better deal. Uh, because this is 24.2 ounces so you're almost getting double there for $12 but I would uh, take a picture of that sticker there because that sounds a little too good to be true uh, the decaf they do have some of the decaf we've been having trouble finding this here um, 13.72 here we've seen it up over $14 at some places so good to know that we got a lot of a lot of decaf drinkers on the channel here uh, my Coffee Mate, again, this is one of those $5.99 things that went up to $6.42. Now I buy mine at Sam's Club. Apparently I heard that it went up there. Still worth it. Um, somebody was saying it was $6.28. Still worth it, obviously, though, because you get double of this. I think it's 56 ounces of the coffee creamer. Um, they do have the uh, Cafe Bastello, which is actually up. This was the best price. Uh, this was $13.98 a couple weeks ago, $14.92 now, so. Sadly, this has become a good price on the V8 uh, vegetable juice here, $3.78. We have seen that this is $4.79 in a lot of places now. Absolutely crazy, but $3.78 here. I remember when it was $2.99, not that long ago. Eggs are pretty low here, uh, a lot lower than they usually are. We had some comments on the 60 count eggs here. $12.45 here uh, for the 60 count. Um, and they do have them. We've been getting comments that they've been kind of going away here at Walmart. We've got them for that price. Not sure what they are across the country. Let's see what the eggs are here now. Ooh, $2.57. Remember, these were 95 cents. 90, or uh, might have been 98 cents. They went up $1.57. Wow, that's crazy since the last time we were here. And, and you know, we've been seeing eggs go up around here. We saw they went up a dollar at, at Aldi overnight. So, you know, we still have this sign up here. Due to limited supply and higher than usual demand, our suppliers have increased the price of eggs. We have worked very hard on behalf of the customers to maintain our current pricing as long as possible. While the current circumstances mean customers may see higher egg prices, we are committed to offering customers the best price possible. Well, at least they put a nice little sign up there. I wanted to come over here and check out the Land of Lakes butter. Because we've been seeing that this has been skyrocketing in stores lately. $4.98 is actually cheaper than a lot of other places. Again, take a picture. We get a lot of comments on Land of Lakes butter. It's been like $5.99 uh, pretty much everywhere we go. So that's a dollar cheaper. Okay, so I want to come down and just quickly check over the baby formula. Make sure they're getting stuff in does look like they're a lot lower than they normally are. See a sign here. Attention customers, effective immediately. All infant formula sales are limited to five units per child for each customer per day. 
Ugh, okay, well, um, you know, it is a lot lower than it normally is, but they do have plenty uh, to go around. And, you know, I've always been told that they have some in the back. Uh, always check um, online, too. That's another option. We do know there was a major recall on Similac, which has been uh, about a month and a half ago, so I'm surprised they're not getting them back in the stores yet. Um, but, yeah, this is usually completely full at Walmart. We saw at Target where it was completely empty. They only had a few. The problem is, is that most of it, or all of it, was the powder formula. But because there hasn't been a lot of the powder formula, people have had to resort to using the liquid formula. That's why we're seeing it so low here. They do have the Good Start um, brand here, which they do have a lot of these in. This is good to see. I've also heard that Walmart is a good place to order it. But there are a lot of different outlets online that you can check and uh, get it shipped to your home. So that's something we may have to do. I gotta say, Walmart's kind of been the place for cat food lately. Um, and, and more so than it's been, you, you know, this is the most I've seen here in a while. And most places it's 80 cents a can for Fancy Feast, only 76 a can here. Uh, that matters if you're buying a lot. Plus they got a lot of the uh, different vari or variety cans here. A lot of the Sheba packs that um, some people have been asking about. Most of them are the pate. I gotta say, most of the ones that are coming in, everybody's been saying it's only been the pate, that some cats don't like them. They do have some of the cuts here, which pretty much every place we've gone to lately has had the cuts, but it is very low on friskies and pretty much everything else. They do have some of the big packs here of friskies, which is good to see, and some of the big packs of Nine Lives. But yeah, as far as single cans go, Fancy Feast wins does seem like Walmart's getting in a lot of canned dog food too. Uh, we've seen at Walmart and Target have both been pretty good on the canned dog food lately. So if you're having trouble finding it, also we always recommend Chewy.com. Uh, depending on where you live, anywhere over $49 uh, is usually free shipping. So that's something to look into. We have a lot of viewers on our channel who go through Chewy. Also Walmart.com is apparently a good place to order pet food as well. They do have the Purina one. We got a comment saying they haven't been able to find it. I want to check out Walmart and they got the yams. The yams and the Beneful. They're starting to get varieties back in. So that's yeah, pretty awesome. Got the little Caesar packets here. Well guys, that's all the time I have at Walmart today. Prices continue to rise. A lot of things have... Well guys, that was our trip to Walmart today. Prices continue to rise. Massive price increases. Seen a lot of stuff go up. A little weird about the baby food. This, this Walmart's always overflowing with baby food and stuff. Baby formula. And it's just something that's a little strange. Hopefully they're getting it back in. I'm sure they're working on it. Online options, you know, with Walmart are apparently available. So that's good. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure. Thank you.